Hello, welcome to PhysQuest. So this is uh, the video about vector calculus and the primary focus will be on the differential operator, uh, gradient, divergence, curl and Laplacian. So first of all, let us understand what is a vector calculus. Vector calculus deals with the differentiation and integration of the vector field mainly in a Euclidean space of three dimension. Now the example could be force, electric field, magnetic field, etc. Now this also includes the vector field which can be constructed out of the scalar field. Now when we talk about differentiation in vector calculus, it is expressed in terms of del operator, that is also delta operator and also known as the nabla. The representation of del operator is the vector delta which is equal to i cap del x by del, by del x plus j cap del by del y plus k cap del by del z. So now there are four basic differential operator based on this del operator. They are gradient, divergence, curl and Laplacian. So we will discuss them one by one. First, let's discuss about gradient. So, gradient is an operator which is always applied to a scalar field and the resultant will be a vector field. Suppose F is a scalar field. That means when the del operator is applied to this that is producing the gradient of F, this will be equal, the definition is I cap del F by del X plus J cap del by del Y. Uh, plus k cap del f by del z. This will be the expression of gradient of f, uh, f or gradient of a scalar field. And this is a vector quantity. Now here, the components of gradient that is del f by del x, del f by del y and del f by del z represents the rate of change of the scalar field f in x, y and z direction. Now this is an important term, so rate of change. So now, uh, how to physically interpret this gradient concept. For that you have to consider a room where which has a room heater. So when we switch on the room heater, the room will uh, starts to get heat up. Now the temperature of the room will not be same everywhere. That means at every point of the room, the temperature will not be the same. The region which is nearer to the heater will have a high temperature. Whereas the region which is away from the heater will have a low temperature. Now that means in this case the quantity which is varying uh, is the temperature. So you can say that here temperature of the temperature is the scalar field. So therefore this variation is taking place in this room. So we can say that gradient of temperature or any scalar field at any point gives the magnitude and direction of the maximum rate of change of the temperature and in this case uh, if you consider here this if this is the high temperature and this is low temperature you can see in this direction or in any direction uh, obviously from when we come to or away from the heater the temperature is changing so that is what actually the gradient represents now another example will be, suppose you consider a constant surface phi. So the gradient to this surface will be a normal to the surface that will represent the gradient. So gradient is basically deals with the rate of change of a scalar quantity and the result will be itself a vector quantity. Now let's talk about divergence. So divergence is when the del operator operates on a vector field with a dot product producing a scalar field is known as the divergence. Now suppose we have a vector field A. So when the del operator operates uh, with A with a dot product this will be uh, the answer will be equal to i cap del by del x plus j cap del by del y plus k cap del by del z dot i cap a x plus j cap a y plus k cap a z. Now the final dot product will give you del ax by del x plus del ay by ay plus del az by del z. So this is the uh, expression or in case of divergence. 
and this is a scalar field. Now we will discuss about the physical interpretation of scalar field, uh, this uh, divergence operator. So the simplest example will be when you open a water tap. So when you open a water tap, water flows outwards, basically which means water is diverging away from its source. So the divergence of a vector quantity is a measure of how much the vector quantity is spreading out from the particular point. So here vector quantity is the flux of the water and here the divergence is positive as it is diverging away from the source. Now if the same water is entering to a sink, that means here water is collected, so here divergence will be negative. So you can uh, uh, simply understand by using this example, suppose there is a vector field which is spreading out, so it signifies positive divergence. Now if the vector field lines are coming together instead of spreading out, here divergence is negative and in this case the divergence is zero. Now let's talk about the curl. Curl by definition is when del operator operates on a vector field with a cross product producing another vector field is known as curl. So suppose we have a vector field or vector quantity A. So when cross product is done by del cross that A, this will be uh, equal to I cap del AZ by del Y minus del AY by del Z plus minus J cap del AZ by del X minus del X by del Z plus K cap del AY by del X minus del AX by del Y. So this will be the expression. Now here one vector field is producing another vector field using a differential operator. So that means this involves a circulation of the vector field because uh, here the uh, the source field is also a vector and the resultant is also a vector. So we can say this involves a circulation kind of a concept. So now let's discuss about the physical interpretation. So curl is a vector which is involves the rotation or the circulation of a vector field about a given point. Now the simplest example will be, we have discussed in previous case, we have switched on, the, uh, open the water tap, water is flowing out is a divergence. Now when is water is getting collected at the sink, the divergence was negative. The same expression, if in case of when the water it goes down through the drain, if they have a circulating motion or they are, this is the swirling rotation as you can see in the image, this will represent the curl operation. So here there is the swirling of the water which is the, the best example of the representation of curl. Another example could be the whirlpool or the tornado. So these are kind of the things which represent the circulation or rotation of a vector field about a particular point. Now this is about curl. So last one is the Laplacian. The concept of Laplacian is a bit different. It involves a double differentiation. So here when a divergence operator operates on the gradient of a scalar field, this results in a scalar field and this operation is known as the Laplacian. So mathematically if you want to represent uh, it acts as divergence of the gradient of a scalar field that means del dot del gradient of A. A here is a scalar field. So this will be equal to del square A. Oh, so this del square is known as the Laplacian operator. So the ultimate expression here will be since it's a double differentiation the final expression here will be del square ax by del x square plus del square ay by del y square plus del square az by del z square which is also a scalar quantity. So now this physical interpretation. Physical interpretation here you have to uh, assume something. See here 
you have to understand the both the definition of the divergence and the gradient because here both are involved so by definition as it said divergence it's the divergence operator when operates on the gradient of a scalar field this will result in laplacian operator so we have already discussed about gradient of a quantity which represents the maximum rate of change in a direction divergence represent how much the vector quantity spreads out from a uh, particular point so laplacian operator signifies how the change of the quantity spreads out in a particular direction so this sounds completely complicated right so you can understand through an example let us assume there is a uh, here the hill so in case of this hill as you can see here the gradient of the hill if, if you want to involve here here the slope of the hill at a particular point will represent the gradient now if you look closely if you construct slope at different region here the slope is different but at this region slope is a bit different whereas at this region slope is different that means you can see that uh, the slope is changing at different points of the hill so now therefore divergence of here the slope represents the gradient now divergence of the slope divergence of the slope means how the slope of the uh, divergence of the um, slope is the, the how the slope of the hill is changing or spreading out so changing of slope means represents the curvature of the surface therefore laplacian of a field signifies the uh, the curvature of the uh, that uh, quantity so suppose the any uh, quantity laplacian represents a curvature now in case of a field this is the practical example i here i have said in case of uh, physics suppose you consider a field now laplacian of a field uh, signifies the, how much the value of the field at a particular point differentiates from the uh, average value at its neighboring points so that will represent the concept of the laplacian now these are all about the four different operators which involves uh, the del operator so now we will summarize it so the summary the vector we have discussed about vector calculus and associated differential operator and we have discussed about the four operators that is gradient of a divergence uh, curl and the laplacian now grad as you can see gradient acts on a scalar field result a vector field indicates magnitude and direction of maximum rate of change of the scalar field divergence acts on a vector field producing a scalar field and physically we can interpret as the extent to which the vector field spreads out from a particular point or the outward flux similarly curl uh, acts on a vector field and resulting results also is a vector field this signifies the rotation or circulation of a vector quantity about a point and lastly the laplacian this acts on a scalar field and produces a scalar field and this indicates the curvature of a surface or variation in the field at a point as compared to the average value of its neighborhood so this is all about the differential operator in the next video we will discuss about the integration part of the vector calculus which includes some of the important theorems